All right, good morning. Good morning, everybody. Hello to YouTube. Shout outs to YouTube. If you're watching this VOD on YouTube, thank you so much for checking it out. I hope you're having a good day as well. Poke, good morning. How the heck are you doing? I saw a tip on Twitch that uh, somebody said at the beginning, like when you're starting your stream and going through your intro and all that stuff, um, talk like you're talking to the VOD viewers. And I was like, that's a good point, because guess, you know, not everybody sees this part of stream. Everybody watching the VOD sees this part of the VOD. So, shout out to you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching my stuff on YouTube. If you can't make it to, to Twitch streams, that's fine. I appreciate you all the same. I'll have to figure out a little, a little thing to say to the YouTube crew every morning. But, uh, but yeah, hello, Poke. Good morning. Oh, it's Monday and I'm exhausted. <laughs> it is Monday. I am beat. I have had such a busy weekend. Oh, my goodness. My goodness. Doing well, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm tired. I'm, I'm, I'm so tired. Uh, Aaron and I, uh, Aaron and I went out. Uh, we did, gosh, we did a lot. We did a lot. Uh, this weekend um, we've been cleaning um, because our friends are, are, are coming um, at the end of oh that reminds me I need to I need to put a post about this in the discord uh, but uh, I am I need to put a post about this in the discord uh, I am taking Friday off uh, to help get stuff set up before uh, our friends get here but I will stream on Thursday to make up for it. So we'll have a Thursday stream instead of a Friday stream. I need to, I need to do that. Make sure that's good. Oh my goodness! But yeah, um, we yeah. So we're so we're we're cleaning to get stuff ready for them to get here. Um, and then uh, Saturday we went. I think I mentioned this on Friday. Uh, Saturday we went to the. Um, uh, the, the new coffee shop that opened, um, and that was great, uh, we had a really good time there, um, and we, we did a bunch of, uh, a bunch of cleaning around the house, a bunch of stuff, that is so bright, good lord, okay, um, apparently even Activision's biggest supporters pissed off them now, Call of Duty Zombies fan base. Call of Duty fans should have been pissed off at him for a long time. <laughs> They've been doing some really questionable stuff with Call of Duty. Um, but so we were we were cleaning stuff around the house, moving a bunch of stuff, um, and then we got up early Sunday um, to drive to North Carolina. We drove to sort of eastern or western North Carolina um, to see my in-laws, and we went hiking. Um, the hiking was, uh, the hiking was, uh, 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 what's it, described as a moderate. They are incorrect. It was a difficult, it was a very serious, uh, uphill switchback mountain bit, uh, which once we got past that, it wasn't too bad, but uh, up until then it was, it was a little rough. Um, but we went to, went to just nice little town in, uh, Western North Carolina, had some lunch, met with the other one. Um, there's a lady selling soaps. We got some soaps, um, and I got some beard wash that I'm excited to try. Um, and then, and yeah, just after the hike, then we drove back. Uh, the drive wasn't too bad, I will say. Uh, the drive was a lot less stressful. I know I was talking about this on Friday. Uh, just the absolute lack of lights on the roads. The drive back was a lot nice because we weren't in the absolute uh, darkness you know, because we came back kind of early to pick up Josie. Um, picked up Josie. We picked up uh, some Mexican food to go, and we watched half of the Super Mario Brothers movie uh, before we, uh, you know, cleaned up to go to bed. So, all in all, it was a really great weekend. I really enjoyed it. I'm, we got to get back and finish the, the Mario movie, but I am absolutely, I am absolutely be just... Just absolutely be so tired.
Oh. I hope you had. I hope you had a good time. I hope you had a good weekend, Poe. And again, if you watch this on YouTube, let me know how your weekend was in the comments. You'll probably see this in a little while. <laughs> You'll see this in a little while. Ugh. All right. Let's see. This is in. This goes in supplements rule box. Oh, it's already there. Oh, me down. Hang on. And this. Only up this early. You have to go get blood work done in an hour. Oh, I hope that goes well, Poke. I hope that goes well. I hope everything's, you know, nice and easy. I hope everything is nice and easy. I definitely don't, uh, you know. It's the it's the the fun thing about any anything anything medical. Nice and easy, <laughs> right? Nice and easy, just right through, whatever, no worries. Boom. I you know I used to work in a hospital and I you know I would I would end up chatting with people that were there, and the literally the best thing that could happen is. Get in, you get in, and you just like you don't have that long of a wake a wait. You get in, you get the thing, and you're done. That is that's the best it can go, and it's great. It's the best it can go, and it's great. Not afraid of needles when you start medical work. I just want to be able to get right, right. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. It's always annoying when you're like, yeah, you just have to, you just can't eat, and you're like, what do you mean I got? Like I would, I would talk to people all, uh, not all the time, because you know some people, some people aren't interested in having conversations, which is fun. But I would chat with people in the in the the commissary or something, and you know they would they would be sitting there like drinking water, or maybe drinking a coffee. You know, and you strike up a conversation, and they're like, "Yeah, like I haven't eaten anything in like 36 hours to try to get these tests done and all of this." And I'm just like, "Oh my god, buddy! Like, <laughs> like once you're once you're done, once you're done, like come out here and have like have some chicken tenders or something. Like have a you know, have a burger, have something, have something to have something to enjoy. You know, have something that that uh, you know, have a little cheat meal. That was the good thing of when I worked at the hospital. That was the good thing of when I worked at that hospital." Um, they had really good hospital food, um, and I'm pretty sure most of it was vegetarian. Like they would, they would always have a protein of some kind that you could get, but then you could always have like almost everything uh, vegetarian, which is nice. And everything was made on site, so it was all, it was all really nice. It was all really good. Like, you know, never had any problem with like. You know, it, it wasn't like, oh, I'm going out and we have to go get Burger King in the middle of our shift or anything like that. You know, we were able to just go down, uh, have a meal. It was great. It was great. Gosh, the place we went for lunch yesterday, this uh, this tavern in, uh, in North Carolina was really good. Um, they, they, they had the cider on draft. I have to look up to see if we're able to get in there because it was very tasty. Oh, we can probably take a collar off. That's true. I would start stabbing people if I didn't have food waiting, <laughs> waiting right away. If I had to wait that long, you just walk in with a with a subway sandwich. You just, you're just like ready to go. Sage, hello, good morning. How the heck are you? How are you doing? Um. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I will absolutely be interrupted at some point today, and I apologize to everybody for that. Uh, but we are having, uh, our building is having an apartment inspection today, so all the units in our building are getting inspected. So, nothing to do. Nothing nothing to do. Um, on my way home for the weekend? Heck yeah. Heck yeah. I hope work has been going well. I hope work has been going well. Oh, excuse me. Um... 
but nothing to be done. You know, they gotta they gotta uh, inspect the whole the whole apartment. So. Oh, and and we'll we'll mention this for the first time. Um, thank you to everybody that's been playing Strike Force. Um, thank you to everybody that's been hey lay down. Sorry, Josie was getting into something. Um, so thank you everybody that's been playing Strike Force. Uh, we got a, a ton of people up to level 20. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much for that. Um, I do want to call out if we can get one more person to get to level five, we'll hit a new tier on that, uh, which would be incredible. It would be absolutely incredible. Um, so if you haven't yet, if you haven't yet, um, click the link there in the chat. Uh, to sign up, you got to use the link so that it counts. We got to make sure that it counts, um, and just get to level five, which takes roughly an hour. Um, you don't have to pay anything. You do, there's no, you don't have to complete any specific things. Just play the game until you hit level five, and you should be all set. So, yeah. but thank you again to everybody that's done it so far. Absolutely amazing. I, I'm, I'm so, I'm so thankful to everybody. Make sure there aren't any. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're just, it's, it's regular maintenance stuff they have to do all the time. It's regular, you know, regular maintenance stuff, and it's it's our building this time, you know. Uh, but let's get, oh my goodness. Oh, let's get going with the stream today. Um, which is gonna require me to come over here and turn the capture card on, because we're playing an Xbox game. You might say, Matt, holy cow. What Xbox game are we playing? Well, if you didn't see from the title, we're playing a game. I got to turn my controller back on. Um, we're playing a game that my wonderful friend Brian sent me. Um, because why not? <laughs> because why not? Um, playing a, a, a wonderful game. Well, we'll see. We'll see how wonderful it is called the smurfs mission mission Vileaf? mission Vileaf. I thought I was like is it mission Vileaf or operation Vileaf? um do i know anything about this game no no i do not um let me make sure that i'm getting the audio oh actually right i decided to do it this way right Okay. Oh, I put you okay, I put the game in early so specifically so it would install. So like I did this before before we started. There's an upgrade. Why So we just Installation stopped. What are we doing? Oh, it okay, I see. The installation stopped because of this download. I'm so glad that there's a, a apparently an Xbox Series X patch for this game. Goodness gracious. There's been two Lady Smurfs, the other one was in one of the two Smurfs live action movies. I don't I don't listen. I don't consider myself the foremost like expert on Smurfs canon. I don't know if I believe that. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right. Well, luckily, I like that it has to like re download the whole game. I like that it has to re download the whole game. That's fun. There's Smurfette and the little girl. The little, I don't, mm, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I don't, I, I don't know if I believe you <laughs> again. I don't know if I believe this. This is a this could be a trick. Oh, God, it's going to take 20 minutes. All right, well, let's. 
let's do something else with our lives in the meantime. I literally like put the disc in so that it would do all of this already. And then it didn't do this. So great. Love it. Big fan. Big fan. Thanks. Thanks, Xbox. All right. Uh, you know what we'll do in the meantime? In the meantime, we'll play uh, a game that I actually like that uh, I haven't played on stream in a little bit. So. I look up a picture. I'm afraid of looking up any character. Perhaps it'd be a lady because Internet. That's fair. That's valid. Uh, here, I'm going to turn the Elgato off. And we're going to play a little. We're going to play a little ghost lore. Uh, so if you don't know, ghost lore is a uh, sort of Josie. Josie keeps getting into things. Um, ghost lore is a like Pacific Island inspired uh, action RPG like Diablo esque Jalen. Um, and I freaking love it because it uh, one. I love this. Uh, I love this graphics style. Like I love this. This this pixel art is killer. Um, it has all all those good Diablo stats. You know, it has all all that all those all those good like action RPG nonsense. But here's the big thing. Here's the big thing is this glyph system, right? So you get these glyphs to drop that. So like this one gives me plus 65 HP, right? Uh, and Selly Selly's are always some sort of HP, right? So this one's 72 HP. So it's literally better than this one. This one's four HP regen per second, right? And so you have to think about like whether, you know, what's more valuable to you, that sort of thing. But then you get these compound glyphs and this is where it really stacks up. I'm holding on to this one because I need to find space for it. Um, so the compound glyphs, boo, boo. Good morning. How the heck are you? Welcome on in the both of you. So these compound glyphs are neat because the game doesn't really pause. Those crows are going to just yell. Um, compound glyphs are neat because they take up these spaces here, right? So this Suli compound glyph gives me the stats it already gives me. But then you can see these highlighted ones, these blue ones here. If I fill in the right ones, I can get increased bonuses, right? And then there's shapes. So you have to you. This is your glyph space. You unlock spaces as you level. Uh, so you're playing like this Tetris type game of like, OK, I want to put this compound glyph in place and then I want to fill it with the glyphs so that I get the right effects. And then I can I can like upgrade those glyphs when I get better ones. Right. So like here's a celly that regenerates six HP per second. If I get one that's like 10 HP per second, I could just replace it. I still get the bonus from having a Selly, which is 10% increased HP, HP, but then I have the better Silly Glyph. Ghost lore, my specialty? Facts. Facts. Jesse, good morning. Um, but so I'm playing a uh, I'm playing a minion master. So let me get my crows. I can have seven crows. And three leopards, neat. Uh, so I'm playing a pet class because I always play a pet class. Uh, let me pick up. Uh, there's 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 cooking in this game, in a really slick way that I love. Like I love how it's done. Oh, 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 okay. Let's, let's, let's resummon, resummon some friends over here. Hell yeah. Chest. I have to remember. And I mean, like, like, this is just so, it's just so Diablo. I love it. Like, I'm good. They explained Smurfette, didn't they? Weirder that there weren't any Lady Smurfs before her, though. How do Smurfs reproduce? Budding. <laughs> just one day a new, just one day a new Smurf appears, and that's it. Maybe, maybe they'll tell us in the game. Maybe the, you know, the best thing that could happen in this game is that they finally explain all of the. Ooh, 
that's a new compound glyph. That's a new compound glyph. Oh, this is all about critical chance and elemental damage. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah, Jesse, how are you doing this morning? Thank you everybody for 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 stopping in early. I love it. I love it. You're wonderful. All y'all are great. Um. Oh, here's the other thing. Here's the other thing that's that's wild about this game is the powers grid, right? Smurfette was created by Gargamel to distract the Smurfs. Damn. I didn't watch the Smurfs a lot as a kid, so I have no idea. Um. So these this powers grid, right? So you put the powers that you want to use, right? Um, you, you eventually have up to three classes. Um, and you pick the powers you want to use and you put them on the board and that is what allows you to actually use them. But then you can put modifiers on them, right? So, uh, because the leopards, right? So the leopard is going to get any benefits from those green highlighted lines, right? And again, you unlock more spaces as you level up. So, oh, I think that's the Xbox done. That's the Xbox done. All right, we'll play Ghost Lore for a little bit because fuck it. Um... So you see, it'll get this bonus of both of these minion health uh, bonuses and then knockback. So it does extra knockback and critical damage. Um, I need to move this. This isn't getting triggered by anybody. I rearranged some stuff. Um, but yeah, this is <laughs> they really let you get. And then you have and then you have three classes worth of powers and skill modifiers to come in here. If you ever played Guild Wars 1, this feels a lot like Guild Wars 1, where you start having a lot of powers and stuff to to, to finagle with. Um, here, I'll show everybody the, uh, the, uh, the, the cooking, because the cooking in this is really cool. Sleepy little sheepy, finally doing my amount of laundry. Loki work day today. So I might need to get some comics out in the sun. Hell yeah. Hey, hey, uh, I'm going to mention this, Jesse, if you haven't, um, if you haven't done the, the Marvel Strike Force thing, um, if you, if you don't already have an account, uh, please, please do it. If you haven't, um, we only need one more person to get the next to, uh, to tear up for level five. Thank you, boo. Um, so if, if somebody can do it that hasn't done it yet or hasn't played the game before, that would be incredible. You got to five? Awesome. Thank you, Jesse. I really like the fiddliness, fiddliness of GW1. I was bummed that two didn't keep that same energy. Two, two was going for a different thing, and I, I appreciate it, but I agree. Like, I liked, I liked being fiddly with one. It was fun. Um, so this is the cooking system. You can have six dishes active, right? So I have, I have three pisongs. Uh, so each of these gives me, uh, increased XP gain plus uh, a different bonus, right? So this is movement speed. This is critical hit chance and, uh, HP regen. And then this is infliction duration multiplier. So like, um, for, for damage over times. Um, but we can see chili crab will increase my max HP. Fried rice will increase my critical hit chance. Satay gives me more lightning damage. And this is all just based off of materials that I pick up. So I really dig this game. This game is really good. Um, if you have uh, you can upgrade your equipment. So I have this cool. I have this cool. Uh, Mor Morana Sims flame war crease of fortune. Um, I could increase the level. So to be a higher level, I could upgrade it to a legendary. It's already a legendary um, or I could add a socket. Which, you know, stuff stuff you get up to late game, you know, you start getting gems and sockets and shit. Twitch wants to redeem flex your 15k, eat my assets, 15 entries for facade. <laughs> oh, nice. I got two Alakests. So Alakests let me make stuff into spectral shards, which are uh, upgrade items. So very valuable, very valuable. I'm probably hmm. Can I buy the gem pouch yet? No. Let's look at this. Yeah, this is one I want to keep. This is one I want to keep. These don't sell for much, but you can come over to this guy. 
and I can say, oh, like randomize the glyph, but keep the shape or change the shape and keep the glyph, which is great if you want to. Um, uh, if you're looking to like, oh, like this glyph fits where, you know, this this glyph fits in my in my lineup. But. Uh, this glyph fits in my lineup, but it doesn't have the bonuses that I want. Uh, but this did just come out on uh, on Game Pass. It's on PC. It's now on Xbox, like on console. So if this looks interesting, go ahead, check it out on um, check it out on Game Pass. I highly recommend it. I'm trying to try to make a little progress here. Just to show off a little bit. Whoa, look at all these coins and the chest. Wow, y'all were. Y'all were up to some stuff. Yeah, Jalen, boo. I hope everybody's doing well. Hope everybody's having a good Monday morning so far. Um, and yes, in, in case you were wondering, yes, this game does have multiplayer. So you can get together with your friends and just have some classic some some classic Diablo 2 fun uh, with with a different inspiration, which is one of my favorite bits. Like, I really appreciate that, you know, we get we get a, a, a game with some di different inspirational backgrounds. Wait, summon the crows so they come and attack this guy. Impressive multiplayer stuff is a tricky kettle of fish to navigate. Yeah. And they're on uh, two different platforms. Uh, I don't know if it has crossplay. Um, so, like, so like I said, it's on uh, Xbox for Game Pass. Um, I don't know if it. Wow, holy shit! Um, I don't know if there's crossplay, but if there is, get. Not just European-centric medieval fantasy. You don't need more savage barbarians. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, we can we can do more than just the same thing we've always done. Incredible. Incredible. <laughs> oh, cripes. Oh, cripes. Ah. Let me drink a mana pot here real quick. Oh, hell yeah. Leveled up. In case you miss it, Stream Raiders ready? Ah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm going to hit uh, Stream Raiders here as we move between things. So I'm level 13. I'm just about to unlock a second class, which is which I'm really excited about. Cause then I'll just have a new level of bullshit. Come on. All right. So yeah, so, so I have a new power slot here, right? So it's, it's very tricky to build around these things. Um, probably the best thing to do with these things is to give me like a new passive. Um, and then I have a new glyph slot which I can take literally any of these glyphs. Uh, increased minion HP is there. Yeah, so we'll, we'll replace this 
with that. Oh, here's a 16%. We'll replace that. And we'll get a little MP regen. But yeah, that's that's ghost lore. That's ghost lore. I really like this game. Um, it's really fucking neat. Uh, I did get a I did get a copy from the devs, so thank y'all very much for that. Uh, I definitely want to do a little bit more of this on stream to show off and talk to y'all about it, but Ooh. That's got a little um Hmm, that's a nice compound glyph. But yeah, that's 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 ghost lore. It's ghost lore. Little MP regen as a treat. Little, little oh, and it has um mod support, it has Steam Workshop support. So it's a banger. It's it's good times. I highly recommend y'all check it out. Oh, Oh goodness gracious. I am I am completely beat from yesterday. Ghost our question. Does changing your gear change your appearance because it looked like it did? Yes. Yes, it does, Boo. It they do one of my favorite things. Changing your gear changes your opinion, your appearance, and you can dye the color of your scarf um to to look a little different. It's great. It's such a good game. It's a, it's it's such 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 a good game. 